Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, 11 problems have completed on game theory. Now, four more problems are left. So, in this video, I'm going to explain you two problems, 12th and 13th. Next video, 14th and 15th, that will be the last one. Now, already we have done the problems on pure strategy and mixed strategy games. The pure strategy game will exist whenever saddle point exists. When maximum is equal to minimax, saddle point exists. It's a pure strategy game. If saddle point does not exist, it is a mixed strategy game where we have to find out the probability that A player will select A1, B player will select B1. What is the probability? A combination of strategies will be adopted in mixed strategies. Already we have done in the last video. Now, before starting the 12th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points, then I'll explain all the points in detail. Now, see the 12th problem. Problem number 12. Solve the following game whose payoff matrix is given below. So simply three rows and three columns are given. Name of the players not given. Strategy names not given. So we suppose the game is played by two players A and B. So let the game is played between player A and player B. And the strategies available for uh, player A are A1, A2 and A3. And the strategies available for player B are B1, B2, B3. We have given the names. In the problem, only rows and columns are given. So here, these are the payoff matrix. The elements of row A3. First of all, <clears throat> before uh, solving the problem, first we reduce the matrix to 2 by 2 form. Then easily we can find out whether saddle point exists or not. We have to apply pure or mixed, right? So here, the elements of row A3. In rows, we will have the maximizing player. In rows, always we assume maximizing player. He will keep the maximum row and eliminate the minimum row. So if you compare A2 and A3, here 6, 5, 5 is less, 2, 1, 1 is less, 7, 6, 6 is less. So what do you observe? All the elements of row A3 are less than the elements of row A2. So A2 dominates A3. We eliminate A3. We remove A3. Then we will have only A1 and A2. Now we have three columns. One more column we have to reduce. In columns, we will have minimizing player. He will keep the minimum and eliminate the maximum. So now we compare. So here you can compare it. Uh, 2, 7. No, this one. Directly we can compare this one. 1, 2. If you compare B1 with B3, you can see here B1, 2. 2 is more. 6, 7. 7 is more. That means A1 is, uh, sorry, B1 is dominating B3. All the elements of column B3 are greater than the elements of column B1. So B1 dominates B3. We can eliminate B3. So B3 also gone. So finally we are having A1, A2 and B1, B2. A3 already eliminated and B3 eliminated. Now the matrix is 2 by 2 matrix. 2 rows and 2 columns. Now we find out whether saddle point exists or not. To find out that we calculate row minimum and column maximum. So row minimum 1. Here 2. So what is the maximum among these minimums? 2. So 2 is called maximin. Column maximum. The first column maximum 6. Second column maximum 7. What is the minimum among these maximums? 6. This is called minimax. The so minimax is 6. Maximin is 2. That means maximin is not equal to minimax. So saddle point does not exist. It's a pure, it's a mixed strategy game. It is a Mixed strategy game. So we can take P as the probability that player A will select A1. And Q is the probability that player B will select B1. 
so we need pq and v is the value of the game already this type of problems we have done in the previous video also so the formula for p p is a22 minus a21 divided by a11 plus a22 minus a12 plus a21 right a22 see uh, in this matrix 2 by 2 matrix the first one is a11 a11 this is a12 here it is a21 here a22 the first is row number second one is column number a11 means first row first column a12 first row second column a21 second row first column a22 second row second column so here a22 is 2 minus 6 divided by 1 plus 2 minus 7 plus 6 so 2 minus 6 is minus 4 1 plus 2 3 7 plus 6 13 so minus 4 divided by minus 10 3 minus 13 is minus 10 minus minus will get cancelled 4 by 10 or 2 by 5 so 2 by 5 is the p value probability now q the formula for q a22 minus a12 like this a22 minus a12 so 2 minus 7 here a22 minus a12 divided by denominator same 1 plus 2 minus 7 plus 6 so 2 minus 7 is minus 5 then 3 minus 13 is minus 10 minus minus will get cancelled 5 by 10 5 by 10 means 1 by 2 so we got p value we got q value now v value of game is equal to a11 into a22 minus a12 into a21 right this uh, formula already we have done denominator same for all the three denominator is same a11 plus a22 minus a12 plus a21 so here 1 into 2 minus 7 into 6 1 into 2 minus 7 into 6 so 1 2 is a 2 7 6 is a 42 divided by 3 minus 13 so you will get minus 40 2 minus 42 is minus 40 divided by minus 10 minus minus will get cancelled 4 40 by 10 4 so v is equal to 4 so we ultimately got the final solution the solution of the game is the optimum strategy for player a is 2 by 3 what is the value of p here 2 by 3 2 by 3 is the uh, 2 by 5 sorry 2 by 5 is the probability that player a will select a1 when probability of a selecting a1 is 2 by 5 then what is the probability a will select a2 1 minus 2 by 5 3 by 5 so 2 by 5 comma 3 by 5 comma 0 why i am taking 0 because originally three strategies are there a1 a2 a3 but a3 was eliminated player A will never adopt A3, the probability will be 0, right? Similarly, the optimal strategy for player B, in player B, what is the Q value? Minor 1 by 2, that means 50%, 1 by 2 is the probability that player B will select B1. So what is the probability of B2? 1 by 2, 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2. So the optimal solution is 1 by 2, comma 1 by 2, comma 0. Originally B3 was there, but we have eliminated B3. B player will never adopt B3. So we have eliminated 0. Value of the game is 4. That's it. This is the end of problem number 12. Now, see the 13th problem. Solve the following zero-sum game where player B plays to player A. Solve graphically. The first time we are going to do the problem by graphical method, right? So far we have done by arithmetical method, not graphical method. So here two strategies are given for A player, whereas five strategies are given for B player. So this problem is called 2 by N problem. 2 by N, that means A player is having two strategies, B player is having N strategies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 strategies. Now, how to solve it graphically? See here. Solving the game graphically. <clears throat> a player is having A1, A2 and B player is having B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. Right? Now, the elements. One column we can eliminate. Actually, player A is a maximizing player. Row. 
in rows always the player is a maximizing player in columns we will have a minimizing player so minimizing player will keep the minimum and eliminate the maximum so here if you compare b1 with b5 2 5 so 5 is greater minus 3 0 0 is greater right so 5 is greater 0 is greater that means b1 will dominate the b5 the b5 will get eliminated b5 will be eliminated now only four columns are there b1 b2 b3 b4 and a1 and a2 now it is a problem of 2 by n because two rows and four columns so that is two strategies for player a and n strategies for player b we evaluate from the problem from the player a's point of view because a is having only two strategies so we evaluate the problem from the point of view of player A and player A is a maximizing player and the criteria for maximizing player is maximin maximum among the minimums that is the criteria for maximizing player now the four strategies available for player B are drawn in the following graph so how to draw the graph carefully while watching the video I always suggest you to keep a notebook calculator pen pencil scale ready now you have to draw the graph for the four strategies available for player B how many strategies are there for player A only two strategies so here uh, two parallel lines you have to draw parallel straight parallel lines right so A1 and A2 this A1 and A2 are the strategies available for player A. Now for B, four strategies are available. Now, what is the minimum, most minimum value? Minus four. What is the highest positive value? Six. The highest positive is six and the lowest value is minus four. So here in the center, I have drawn zero. This is the origin. Zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. And upwards plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six because we have maximum six and minimum is minus four right so I have drawn the scale on both the parallel lines middle zero origin then minus one minus two minus three minus four plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six now each pair we have to draw first one the first strategy a1 is two a2 is minus three a1 is 2 so here this is a1 this is 2 so this a1 and this is 2 so I have put a mark here right and a2 is minus 3 this is a2 and this is minus 3 so I have with a scale with the help of a scale join these two points 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 when a1 is 2 a2 is minus 3 a1 is 2 a2 is minus 3 draw a straight line here right second strategy a1 is minus 4 a2 is 4 so a1 minus 4 and a2 is 4 this is the second strategy this is the first strategy this is the second strategy now third a1 is 6 a2 is minus 4 a1 is 6 a2 is minus 4 now draw a straight line joining 6 minus 4 this is the third strategy right then last one fourth strategy a1 is minus 3 and a2 is 1 a1 is minus 3 minus 3 is here and a2 is 1 so join this by straight line this is the fourth strategy right so four strategies are available 1 2 3 4 so we have drawn four lines 1 2 3 4 with the help of scale join these two points now the criteria is maximin maximum among the minimums so here this is called lower envelope lower envelope so in this lower envelope our solution lies because the criteria is maximin criteria is maximin right here maximin maximum among the minimums so here these are the minimum values now see what is the highest value in this lower envelope so here the two strategies touching are this one here this one and here this one so three intersection points are there 
out of these three intersectional point, what is the highest point? The highest point is P. See here, at three points, the two lines are intersecting. Here two lines are intersecting, here two lines and here two. We are not considering the upward because our solution lies within this boundary. Within this boundary, our solution lies. So we are not going upward. The maximum point is P. This P is called maximin. Maximum among the minimums. Right? So which two lines are intersecting at P? Now you have to locate. This line is intersecting 4. And this line is intersecting 1. So the two lines intersecting at the point P are first strategy and fourth strategy. First and fourth. So the maximum is P where the two lines intersect are B1 and B4. So only two strategies we consider B1 and B4. Hence the 2 by 2 matrix is B1, B4. B1 is 2 minus 3 and B4 is minus 3, 1. That's it. So we have reduced the matrix to 2 by 2 by applying graphical method. Now, P is the probability that A player will select A1 and Q is the probability that B player will select B1 and V is equal to value again exactly similar to the previous one now the formula for P A22 minus A21 so 1 minus into minus 3 minus into minus will become plus so 1 plus 3 1 plus 3 4 here 2 plus 1 3 2 plus 1 3 minus minus 3 minus 3 when you add up minus 3, minus 3, it will become minus 6, right? So in bracket, it will be minus 6. So minus into minus will become plus 6. So 4 divided by 3 plus 6, 9, 4 by 9. So 4 by 9 is the probability P. That is what is the probability of A selecting A1. Similarly, Q is equal to A22 minus A21. So 1 minus into minus will become plus 1 plus 3. Denominator is same. So here also it will be 4 by 9. So we got P value 4 by 9, Q value also 4 by 9. Now V is equal to value of game A11 into A22 minus A12 into A21 divided by denominator same A11 plus A22 minus A12 plus A21. Right? So here 2 into 1. Here 2 into 1 is 2. Then minus, in, minus 3 into minus 3. So minus into minus plus 3. 3 is a 9. 2 minus 9 is minus 7. Denominator 2 plus 1, 3. Minus, minus 6. So plus 6. So 3 plus 6 will be 9. So minus 7 by 9 is the value of the game. So finally, the solution of the game is the optimal strategy for player A. Earlier, originally we have two strategies. So what is the probability that player A will select A1? That is P. How much we got? 4 by 9. 4 by 9 is uh, first uh, probability that A player will select A1. What is the probability of A player selecting A2? 1 minus 4 by 9. 5 by 9. 1 minus 4 by 9 is 5 by 9. 9 minus 4 is 5. 5 by 9. So we got optimal strategy for player A. 4 by 9. 5 by 9. Now come to player B. The optimum strategy for player B are B1. What is the probability B player will select B1? That is Q, 4 by 9. Right? B2 we don't have. In the final solution, B2 and B3 are not there. Eliminated. So B2, B3 will take 0 probability. So 0, 0. Then B4. The probability of B4 is 1 minus 4 by 9 is 5 by 9. And last b5 we have b5 eliminated so the probability will be zero so finally the optimum solution for player b 4 by 9 0 0 5 by 9 0 that's it and the value of the game is minus 7 by 9 that's all so first time i have explained you the graphical method see here once first attempt itself you may not be able to understand Watch the video two times, three times, four times. Definitely you will get the command. In examination, we don't know whether the problem will be asked on pure or mixed or graphical method. The last three problems I am going to explain on this graphical. First problem we have done. The next video will be the last video on this game theory in which two more graphical method I am going to 
explain so inshallah we'll continue our next problem in the next video so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video